let's get to our final guest of Capital Connection now. We have David Custer. Uh, he's a dean at Robert Kennedy College and joins us from the uh, Zurich Bourse to uh, run us through some of the action that we can expect in these markets today. David, um, I believe that you have a pretty uh, conservative view uh, on the US and the European markets. Uh, which sectors do you think are going to carry on suffering the most uh, in these conditions? Good morning, Rebecca. Yes, uh, as we can see, the world is adding towards a recession. We are in a recession. We have seen the market data yesterday from Japan. We have seen the situation in the UK, inflation raising. Uh, all over, we have bad news. I don't expect the news in Germany to be much more surprising today. Uh, traditionally, when we have an highly inflationary market, the equities do not perform well. And I don't see how 2008 would be an exception. In terms of sectors, obviously the financial sector is the one which uh, has been mostly penalized and will still continue to lose uh, construction, real estate. But throughout equities, I see somehow problems and pain going forward. I, I maintain a very bearish sentiment at this stage because of what happened, because of the economic data, the overall environment. But David, presumably there are some, uh, some pockets of value still to be had, even in difficult conditions. W where do you see uh, within equities that people can still make money? Uh, it, it is a very, very difficult take. I mean, for instance, if we look at sectors, um, I, I don't see really uh, commodities now in a totally downturn. And it was a big correction, but I don't see commodity as, a, as being a now uh, an asset class which doesn't deserve some credit. So obviously, uh, the oil sector, uh, which already gave some good satisfaction this year, could be uh, potentially a good investment. Throughout different sectors, you're always going to find the exception of the good company. We have seen in technology in the last few months, some technology company in the U.S. have been doing very well. Pharmaceuticals traditionally is a, is a defensive sector and have been uh, doing not so bad, particularly here in Switzerland. So you always find opportunities. There is always a possibility to find value somewhere. Uh, but not by sector. I mean, even Warren Buffett is having a hard time now to find value. So uh, I see the average investor having even a harder time. David, Christine, yeah, do you see more pain for the financial sector or is it time to go bottom picking here? Yes, I think uh, bottom picking didn't work in the past. I always thought, oh, now it's the bottom, but it's not. I see more pain ahead. And, and it's, it's pretty obvious if we look at uh, big insurance company in the U.S., what is going on, big, big banks, still a lot of write-downs coming through, still surprises, which we didn't expect. We have seen it with UBS. We have seen it throughout. Of course, again, even on the banking sector, you can find in bottom fishing some institutions which are more into private banking, into really... Uh, sort of activities has not been affected and will not be affected by the downtown. You always find opportunities, but overall as a sector, I see more pain going through to the financial, at least till the end of this year. Now, next year, everything is possible, but I don't see in the short term, three months, everything to turn around the financials. David, you say um, after next year or from next year, anything is possible. Does that mean that you think all this turbulence could be over next year? Um, well, wh what happens is it must depends on the data, must depends on the inflation, must depends on, on, on many factors. Like if we would see one of those banks which have been highly penalized, or at least a couple of those big institutions, reporting that the worst is over, there's no more surprises, start turning into more profits, then that would be the sign that it's probably now almost over. But uh, inflation is still, you know, is, is growing very fast. Commodities are still pretty high. Uh, so next year everything is possible, but it depends on, on uh, how many things we already know about this crisis. There have always been every month or even earlier surprise. So it depends if the surprises are over, we can start recovering. If they're not over, we will not recover this, this year, not even next year. Thanks very much for that, David. That was David Costa, Dean at Robert Kennedy College.